beating Cuphead in black and white part 10. Watch the earlier videos before this one and let's get on with it. So the first one we have is technically because we're doing every level is a tutorial of chalice. And technically I can't beat this challenge because of this. Because I said I can only use the shooter and no cards. Like supers. So technically I had to switch on chalice for this, but I feel like this is an exception. It's easy. But let's get on to the actual video. Um, I'm gonna like actually fail the challenge there. But let's get actually on to the video here. And this I have around two more bosses. Yeah, I have two more bosses. We have a dog on dog fight. And uh, the entire and then we have an escort. So that's what we can see today. Also, another thing that I have noticed is that the Moonshine Mom, the Moonshine Mom, the best one, is practically impossible. Just because it's technical. The colors don't change on the beat, so you don't know it's where they go. So I'll try and find a solution if I can. I'll probably try and find a way around it, but so I might like shoot on that one for that specific thing. Actually cannot be something. But this second phase is pretty easy, honestly. And we're on to the last phase of Dog and Dog Fight. And also, the only ones we have left are I am We have Glum Stone, which is not very hard because I just haven't done them yet. We have Mortimer Freeze, which is very hard, so I just haven't done them yet. Also, and then the Moon Tread Model, which I've already talked about, and Chef Salt Baker, which I am going to be saving for last, probably, because it is the last boss in the game. So we're getting near the end of the series, and also, there's a knockout. And now we're on to the second and final boss in this video, Esther Winchester. So here, this boss actually took me a while, weirdly, and though, like, I find this boss easy, just, I don't know why it took me so long this time. Maybe because I'm not using a charm. Like, yeah. But anyways, uh, the boss is very hard in the first phase, honestly. It's very bullet hell like. But the second phase was honestly one of the easiest. You just bomb the uh, first one. So you don't get hit by any of the vacuum stuff. Thing just to dodge around for this is I actually did miss a few parries and like some of the things were incredible. I just don't even know if they're parryable or not sometimes because of how like weird it looks on black and white. And I do just miss some parries honestly. In this phase here, I wait for the first shot, then start uh, hitting. I did miss that parry there. The it kind of look like very weird when they're variable here, so it's decently easy to notice. But I did miss a lot of parries there. But it's good because I can get a crap ton of parries in the last phase. Also, something I could probably talk about the dog on dog fight didn't have a result uh, screen. Um, my clip just didn't catch it for some reason. But I did get an S rank or an A plus rank, I think, so I think it was an S rank. So, or you can tap it yourself if you want to see how to dig all the requirements. But, I got it. But anyways, here, it's just very repetitive, just going through the little part of it. And, like, I was really stressing at the end here. But then I got that knockout. And, anyways... Thank you for watching the video to the end, if you did make it here, and uh, hope I'm going to have this challenge done soon, but anyways, 
let's go.